Welcome everyone. This is Lucy, Customer Success Manager at Double GDP, and this is the CSM Sprint Updates. Um, so in terms of the Hackers in Residence program, uh, the highlights of this sprint is that we offered acceptance to the first uh, hacker of the cohort three. Uh, we have three more hackers in the pipeline at the moment, so we are very confident that we would reach the goal of four hackers for the end of June. Uh, we have a digital skills apprenticeship program in partnership with two organizations that we are working on. We want to start hosting 20 interns by November 2021 instead of 2022 to hopefully help us reach our 100 goal. Uh, we have completed the onboarding of the cohort two of the Hackers in Residence program. Uh, the output of this sprint would have been social media content and our objective for next sprint is to recruit officially three more hackers for the June cohort. Looking at the AIR program, uh, the main highlights will be the Chenna Ad House soft launch that took place at uh, Nkwashi, as well as the rally. Uh, there were around 800 attendees at Nkwashi, while 150 attendees actually came into the Chenna Ad House to check out some art. Uh, there was a welcome picnic with the artists and the hackers for cohort two. And another highlight is that we are pivoting from pure artistic program to a lifestyle program which would include a yoga space as well as a pop-up kitchen. Uh, the challenges of this frame would have been that we let go of a videographer, but he was quickly replaced by somebody else. Uh, the output of this frame will be two YouTube videos, the rally and the picnic, as well as Instagram and Facebook content. And my objective for next sprint is to figure out how to get the artists to be more of active users of the app. Looking at uh, CM and marketing, the highlights would be that we trained uh, the guards to use the app and that uh, the new partnership announcement did really, really good with um, over 40 likes as well as an, an increase of 40 followers on Twitter. So it, it's great to see so much support um, from the tech community. Um, in terms of the output, it will be the training guide in English and Spanish. And the objective for next sprint is to adapt the app content to be more generic and to draft a welcome email for CM clients. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zussi. I will be sharing my screen update next. Let me just share my screen. So hello, everyone. Welcome to my screen. Sprint updates. So as usual, I'll be starting with the voice of the client feedback. So recently, we did uh, we did interviews with clients concerning the construction journey, and some of the feedback was positive and negative. So uh, we share some of the positive feedback we received, which was a client who paid for the floor plan uh, and the building permit and the POQ, which was provided by Nkwashi. And this client also expressed how helpful the relationship manager was with the entire process and how she could contact, contact and any, at any time and always be available for her if any questions were arisen. So this was very good feedback to receive from a client concerning the beginning of their construction journey at Ingwashi. Uh, and then concerning uh, customer support and operations, uh, last week was very intensive as we had to make sure the prefab uh, area was prepared before the SIR and HIR candidates moved there. So it was busy with preparing the entire area, just to make sure that the plumbing was done, that the, the genset was working fine and we had running water. So finally, the SIR and HIR candidates moved into the prefab housing over the weekend. Um, we, had, we have a new SIR candidate as well who has recently signed the agreement and will be moving in this weekend as well, which is very exciting. And we also had the two new SIR also sign the residence agreements and they also moved in over the weekend. Uh, we are still conducting users for the usability test. Uh, we're just remaining with the security guards at this point and the site manager. And we're also still scouting for more SIR to moving at Nkwashi. So basically we're just hoping we can get some positive feedback on having more people from the Nkwashi office actually live at the Nkwashi city as well. So thank you everyone for listening to my sprint update. We'll see you next time. <laughs>